What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Today in a DaVinci Resolve tutorial, I'm gonna teach you guys how to export your titles and your images in Alpha Channel. Let's get into it. If you guys are new here, my name is Josh Haynes. I'm a freelance filmmaker and I bring out videos that help you guys grow as creators. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So why would you need to export an alpha channel? There's a multitude of reasons. You don't have to do it all the time, but it is a really good trick to have up your hat. Uh, so let's dive inside DaVinci Resolve and I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. All right, guys, so this really is not that complicated. I'm going to show you the quick and easy way to get this done. Of course, you can do this a different way where you can edit it uh, by doing macros, but I'm going to show you the easiest way that's just kind of the set it and forget it style. Uh, the first thing we need is a title or an image. I am just going to grab one of these uh, titles that's already installed in DaVinci Resolve 17. Uh, we'll do five seconds long. That's fine. Uh, you can always uh, make this. Uh, you know longer if you want it to be longer you can make it shorter uh, whatever you're wanting to do this needs to be basically what you're wanting it to be from here on out so I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna change a couple things I just put my name and then my tag for Instagram and Twitter if you guys want to follow me there it's right here Josh Haynes underscore KC um, that looks pretty good right there it just comes up on there you're gonna want to make sure all this looks good yeah that looks fine right there I can live with that uh, we need to delete this video clip because we don't want that when we export this out. We just want the title. The next step we need to do is hop into the deliver tab. Uh, and in here, you can make sure that it is still looking good. We can go ahead and set the title of it. I just have it as this title. We will put it as V two because I already did one earlier double checking stuff uh, and then you can either do individual clips or single clips basically individual clips is if you have multiple clips and you're wanting to export all of them out maybe you have different ones you're wanting to do uh, I always just do single clip because anytime I'm doing this I just have one title on there um, we need to change the format and codec uh, the format actually is okay at QuickTime uh, because I'm on a Mac so it works fine the codec, what we need to do is we need to change it because you can see there is nowhere on here export in alpha. There is nowhere up here export in alpha. So what we need to do is go down uh, and we are going to change to DNR XHR and it's going to bring that up. And you can see right here we've got export alpha. We are going to check that. Uh, I'm not going to change anything on the type. I just leave it at what it is. 444, 12 bit seems to be fine. You can see the alpha mode is grayed out. Uh, if we have it set to individual clip, you can actually go in here and change these, but I always just leave it on single. I don't even mess with that and it seems to be fine. Um, everything is set in order. I have it at a wide aspect ratio because that's the style I do in my videos uh, is 3840 by 1920. Uh, and I am going to add that to the render queue. Everything's good. I like to use consistent bit rate. That's just me personally. Uh, we are going to render that. It should not take very long at all because it's only a five second video clip. Once that's done, we will hop back in the edit tab. I'm going to import the title that I need that we just exported. We are going to drag it right on top here and we can delete that original title right there. I did do a tutorial where you can save custom titles. I'll link that in the description below. This is something that's really set up perfect for YouTube, especially for the lower thirds. If you're going to be using it over and over and over again, you're really not going to be changing anything. Uh, in my opinion, this is the best way to do that. Well, there you go, guys. That's how you export something in Alpha Channel. If you guys are new here, give me a thumbs up, drop a comment below, consider subscribing. You guys are amazing. I'm the Iron Giant. I'll see you next time. Peace.